I'd like to start by asking you a question. Do you have a hobby? Likely you do. Now, how would you feel if you found out that your hobby had the ability to accelerate the effects of climate change, damage sensitive ecosystems, ruin relationships, and further displace indigenous people? Well, my hobby is mountain biking and it is no panacea. Much like oil and gas or logging, mountain biking belongs to an industry and this industry is tourism. The tourism industry is relatively new, yet consumers are now spending more and more money on outdoor recreation, more than pharmaceuticals and fuel combined. In 2017, North Americans spent $887 billion on recreation. In British Columbia, mountain biking has grown from a fun pastime into a full-blown commercial pursuit. In the Sea to Sky Corridor alone, mountain biking tourism is worth more than $70 million. To be clear, we have commercialized recreation and created tourism products. So why is this important? In BC, rural and indigenous communities throughout the province are transitioning their economies from resource extraction to tourism in search of economic stability, increased social cultural benefits and environmental sustainability, with many communities choosing mountain biking as their main tourism product. Unfortunately, an increasing amount of forest fires, user conflicts between trail users and stakeholders, and the desire to commodify the outdoors are creating land use management issues that cannot be solved with historical land use strategies. This leads into the research objectives of my study. The key objectives of the study is to examine how industries such as mountain bike tourism and resource extraction interact with land use policy, reinforce or disrupt colonial patterns of land use, and to determine what practices are actually tolerable on the land. Previous research has investigated the direct ecological and economic impacts of mountain biking. And currently there exist two main gaps. One, understanding power dynamics of land management. And two, how land use decisions can constrain or enhance social, cultural, and environmental development of rural and First Nation tourism economies. BC is an ideal setting for this research because it's the only province with a dedicated mountain bike tourism agency, a large proportion of unceded indigenous territory, and is currently experiencing threats to rural livelihood due to climate change. My study will use in-depth interviews with key rural and First Nations stakeholders, and findings from this research will assist these stakeholders with the creation and development of a more sustainable tourism management strategy one that is better able to adapt to the dynamic socio-political and environmental conditions currently impacting the province. Now, with all that being said, I think it's time we go for a ride. Mm -hmm.